Hello everyone, welcome to another video. My name is Carrie Cashes, and in today's video we're gonna be doing the cash stuffing for the second week of September and this is gonna be for a total of $443. So let's get into it. If you watched my last video, you will see that we changed up things a little bit from the setup to um, like I incorporated some awesome fall decor into my binders here. And I am also going to be working with some $1 bills for our um, cash envelopes and our budget going forward. I'm gonna see if I like it or not, but uh, to get started, this is my bills binder and everything that I am using um, is linked in the description down below including like my dashboards these are brand new from Lily Budgets my cash tray everything that you see here so we're going to stuff $52 these ones are like super crispy um, and then this 50 has like a hole in it right here it's so random so we're $52 is going into our utilities and this is pretty much exactly what we have to stuff every single week. Um, some months our utility bill is a lot higher and other months it's not as high. So kind of like to plan for that when I can. So 50, 100, 150, 170, 180, one, two, hold on, three, four, five, six. So 186 in utilities, which is pretty good because the second week of September and we still have a whole month to save up for this. And then this will go to pay October's utility bill. Um, I've been working to try and get like ahead in the month. So the month that I'm stuffing is for the next month's bills. Um, internet is getting 20. It gets 20 every single week because our bill is $80. And then I just take the money out at the end of the month that I've stuffed and then put it in the bank so that I can pay the bills for that month. Gas is going to get 12 this week. One and two. So now we have $22 for gas. Some weeks we spend more on gas and others we don't. So it was just a lot easier for me instead of putting like 15 in here to just say, okay, we just need a couple dollars extra. So that's why I started incorporating some ones. Subscriptions is going to be getting $20. So now we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100, 10, 20, 35, 135. And I actually probably don't have to stuff this fully this month because there is a good amount uh, left over from last month. And then cell phones gets 25 every single week. So now we have 20, 40, 65, 75. And we actually had $25 left over from last month because our cell phone bills, we used them like the usage was way lower. So we didn't have as high of bills. Trash and recycle <clears throat> is gonna be getting five. So now it has five, uh, ten, five. 50, 60, 5, 75, 80. So $80 in trash and recycle. And this is a quarterly bill and it comes out, um, I actually think the next time it comes out is at the beginning of September or October. I can't remember. Um, but they they changed around our schedule. So instead of doing it like every quarter, when, whenever you started, it would just start the quarter. Now they have like combined everybody to be at the exact same time. So now we are on a different schedule. So I have to work that out. HOA fees is getting $18. So that's 15. And then 16, 17, 18. These are like crispy from the bank. <laughs> so 120, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. 5, 90, 5, 200, 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Okay. I don't even know. That might have been counted incorrectly, but this is a lot of bills for this small envelope, so I need to condense this sooner than later. Our HOA fees are not due until January. Quarterly subscriptions is getting 11. So now we have 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 5, 85, 86, 87. 
and this is for our pest control and it comes out quarterly obviously <laughs> all right um, annual fees is getting 10 so now it has 100 220 40 60 70 80 nine what hold on 70 80 90 215 okay yes so our prime subscription comes out in a couple days actually so I need to pay that soon medical and copays is getting 15 still need to take some money out for this we put the we paid cash for a good amount of my husband's like a wellness checkup annual wellness checkup um, but some of the copay we paid on our credit card so I do need to repay that 1 20 30 40 50 60 70 85 95 205 and I just realized that in a lot of these envelopes I have a lot of fives and a lot of tens car registration is fully funded and then car insurance is getting ten dollars so one thousand is in the bank plus twenty forty sixty <laughs> let me put this here seventy eighty ninety so one thousand ninety so that's almost fully funded just a couple more dollars what like twenty ten more dollars wow this is getting thick can barely shut this already yeah definitely need to condense this soon probably we'll do a nice big condensing at the end of September so this is my sinking funds binder it has high priority and low priority sinking funds in here starting off with car care it's gonna get ten dollars one two three four twenty forty sixty seventy eighty so four eighty um, hoping to get to five hundred dollars before the end of the month with the th which I think is totally doable and then um, I want to save up a thousand dollars in this envelope and kind of keep it there at all times if possible household is going to be getting twenty forty sixty dollars twenty forty sixty eighty one twenty forty I always try and bulk this envelope up and then it always just seems to be depleted really quickly lawn care is going to be getting 15 so now it has 20 40 60 80 90 100 5 10 1 10 okay cool um, we will be taking money out of here shortly and then we probably don't need to stuff this but just like a few dollars a week until next spring so we've already shut off our um, sprinkler system for the year and um, we already did our like cleanup of all of our um, wildfire prevention and everything for our home and our HOA actually takes that all away and like um, uh, turns it into you know pieces of chipping wood so spring cleaning is going to be getting five dollars so we don't really have a lot of lawn care needed throughout the rest of the season hopefully 20 40 60 75 85 well, at least none that we would need to spend money on. Like we still have to go out and trim everything and clean it up for, you know, the winter and do our winter seating and stuff like that. But uh, family fun is getting five. So now it has 20, 30, 25, 35 in here. And then electronics is also getting five. So we have 10, 20, 5, 30. And this is just for saving it for when we need new electronics. Um, hopefully we don't need anything soon, but we're just setting aside money just in case. So beauty and skincare is also getting five. I've pretty much stocked up on this, but just saving more. 20, 30, 40, 55, 60. Because it seems like every time you are out of skincare and all that, it all goes out at the same time. So you just have to replenish it all at once. Clothing is getting skipped. And then we're going to put some money in gifts. We're going to put $5. So now we have 20, 40, 65 in gifts. 
and um, we had a really fun time. My brother and his family came up to visit. He has a pretty large family, so we got to sort of stress test our new house, if you will, and uh, see how it was to have a bunch of extra, you know, kids in here and family and stuff, and um, it was really fun, and my husband enjoyed cooking a lot for them because his um, background is a personal chef, so let's see. Special Events is going to be getting $5.00. So we have 100, 200, 300, 20, 30, 40, 5, 50. Am I counting that right? 320, 330, 340, 50, 65, 70. Okay, 370. And I'm actually, I'm going to do this because I messed up my denomination somehow. And I'm not sure where or if I grabbed extra bills or something. But anyway. So I need a couple more fives and we'll just sort it out. We'll just figure it out later. <laughs> Future carry has to deal with that, not current carry. All right. Um, travel is going to be having $10. So maybe I should turn my paper on the side here so I can see it better. One, two, three, four, five, six hundred twenty, uh, 620 in travel and trips. And I'm loving my fall setup here. It just looks so cute. And I love the fall season. It's my absolute fave. So let's move on to our savings challenge binder. And we are actually going to go back here to home deductible real quick. And then I'll start at the front again. Um, because home deductible is going to be getting... Hmm, it's going to be getting $40, but we're not going to be coloring in one today because um, I want to color in this 80, but I didn't have $80 in the budget. So we're just going to be doing um, the 40 and not coloring it in. And we'll just set it in the front here so that I remember that I still like, I think next week's uh, cash stuffing is going to be the other 40 and then we'll be able to color it in. So, and look at how pretty this birch dashboard is, birch tree dashboard. Um, and these little leaves and stuff are, are green and then this brown and it's just so pretty. It probably took a lot of time to create. But anyway, we're going to be putting $5 into our emergency savings. So we have 20, 30, 40, 5, 55, 60. And then we have a couple thousand in the bank already plus an additional 200 from this envelope. And then Christmas is going to be getting $40. So we are going to be coloring in this hat right here. So 20, 40. Um, grab green. So we have $40 going in, which is exciting. We will be halfway done with this very soon can't believe it and Christmas is going to be here before you know it too so 500 is in the bank plus 600 700 750 770 7 90 810 830 850 860 is that right yeah, I think so okay cool $860 saved up for Christmas the goal is $1,000 and then our 2024 savings challenge we are going to be putting in $30. Did I mess up my, I think I did, so, huh, okay. Well, anyway, we're gonna make it work with the denominations that we have. So we already have $1,400 in the bank here in placeholders. We're gonna be putting in $30, which is this one right here. I had to skip some of these, like kind of skip around for my budget restraints this week. Um, so we have 20 or 10, 20, 30. That is not right at all. I'm missing like a $5. Oh boy, I'll have to figure that out. But we're going to put 30 in here right now. So 51, 20, 40, 60. 80, 200, 10, 20, 30, 40, 55, and 60. All right, cool. And then this is actually a freebie on my channel if you want to download it and start saving 2024 in 2024. So we're getting really close to finishing this one, which I'm very excited about. All right, we're skipping this one this month, or this week rather. Um, 
and then I'm gonna go back to this one so I was supposed to put ten dollars in this one but I think I I think I messed that up and it, I only need five so we're gonna do this five right here and we're just gonna call it good um, I'm not sure I might end up with like extra money in next week's because I was short this week's uh, budget so I don't know exactly but anyway Next week we will put in 15 for this one and we will finish off this $100 uh, scratch off challenge. So we're almost there. 20, 30, 40, 50, 5, 65, 75, 85. So 85 plus 15 next week will give us a total of $100 saved. And then this um, savings challenge will probably go towards, I actually don't know what it will go towards, um, probably a, a sinking fund or something like that that needs some extra love. I'm not sure yet, but that is it. Thanks for hanging out with me today while I had a little bit of a all over cash stuffing, but I appreciate it. I love hanging out with you and hearing how your week has been going. So thanks so much. And I look forward to seeing you in my next one. Bye.